I'm at Bow Tree Plant Base. I want one of these drinks. Maybe. Hi, Quido. Yummers. Yummers. This is a chimkinless sandwich. So I'm at Sood's like little warehouse thing. Delish. Waiting for coffee. So I got too shy to film in Sood. Or I guess it's not Sood, it was Spaccio. But the coffee is so good. It's so, so good. Here's my haul video. I got this sparkling mandarin beverage and then my favorite lemon sparkling beverage so good and then i got this prosciutto sandwich which is just prosciutto cheese and lettuce and this one has um a bunch of mushrooms that fell out and then i got this delicious bombolini custard and chocolate good morning everyone here is my outfit of the day as i head out i'm wearing the Kelly Green Sweater by Aritzia, it's from Babaton, I think. It's the Roger Sweater. These are Denim Forum jeans. I can't remember the name and style of them. Uh, my jewelry is the same from before, so I have a, here, I'll flip you around. So I'm not sure if you can actually tell, but that's Harley engraved on there. It's by Wolf Palace, my large diamond my boyfriend chain, my jade, I have on my heirloom today, and then in terms of bracelets, oh I need to put my watch on, I have the Thin Bangle, a Lisa Goslin bracelet that Daniela got me, and then the bar bracelet, and then I'm wearing my Chanel. So I'm gonna go to Ikea now because I have something to return. This is the lamp in question that I'm trying to return. Well, not trying, I'm going to exchange this. And then I'm getting the ceiling version because I have no space for this. I got this for Christmas, but I have no space for this, so I'm going to exchange it. I need to find this thing because there's only five in stock. That's the light. There's literally two. I'm buying them. Anyways, this thing is so heavy. I need to like find a bag or something. I actually want to see the mirrors. I'm going to go back. Oh my god, I love all the ribbed stuff. Okay, I ended up finding a cart because that's just much easier for me. Anyways, let's navigate the store. Should I like put you on? I like that one a lot more. That one's so cute. Oh, what's this? It's a vase? Or a utensil holder? Hmm. This is very cute. $14.99. So obviously you have to come to Ikea and eat their food. I got the salmon with the broccoli medallion, so good, and then a cake, and then this is what my mom got, the plant balls, and we're gonna share. All right, party people, I am home. Oh, oh. hi, little boy. Look, there's a little boy. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to make snack boxes and I'm also going to make a banana cream pudding, the Magnolia, hi little boy, the Magnolia Bakery like dupe. I'm gonna show you what you need. What you need for the banana pudding, you need these Nilla wafers. I can't find the brand that people usually use in the US and I cannot find them. So if you're Canadian and you're looking for vanilla wafers, this is from Amazon and I got it for $4. So I had to buy two boxes because they were so cheap. So I got this. You need an instant jello vanilla pudding mix. You're gonna need some cream and you're gonna need some milk. So the first thing we're gonna do is make this and it's very simple. We're just going to take the packet and I'm gonna pour this jello mix into a big bowl, a large bowl. Then you're gonna need a cup of milk. So I have 1%, you can use skim, you can use regular milk. I don't know if you can use a plant-based milk, I don't think so. I've tried it with almond milk and it didn't work, so I'm gonna use my regular cow's milk. I'm just going to mix this until it thickens. Oh, and then for the whipping cream, you actually do need a bit of sugar and vanilla extract if you wish, but 
like I like adding those things. You don't have to add the sugar because you're gonna be mixing the whipping cream and this pudding mixture together. But I like to add a bit because I like to save some whipped cream for the top. And then I like to top my banana pudding with some whipped cream. So anyways, this is gonna go in the fridge now. Okay, now I'm at my stand mixer. I have my whisk attachment. I'm going to take my whipping cream. I'm gonna pour the whole whipping cream in. This is 373 milliliters. So I'm gonna pour that in, whisk this. like a little bit of sugar I don't measure that it's probably like half table half a tablespoon or something and then just pour in some vanilla extract this is the consistency you're looking for like that's all you want and if you over mix this you will get butter so you don't want to do that and Harley wants this now because he thinks it's puppuccino so I left that in there for a little bit and now I have this very thick consistency. I'm gonna fold in half the whipped cream in here. So just fold it, fold it. For me, there's nothing better than freshly whipped cream. I personally think it is so delicious. And then adding the whipped cream and the pudding mix together, it just creates a really nice custard, like a creamy custard. So I really like making these because they're easy desserts to make and you have to you do have to make it ahead of time but then i think like if you're having company over and you make this the day before it's just easy to serve and there's no baking required i have this casserole dish that i'm going to put everything in okay so i cut up some banana i take this and line the bottom even coating and then I'm going to take vanilla wafers and just place them and then banana you can honestly put as much and as little banana as you like I will probably use two bananas then so once your vanilla wafers and bananas are in, you do the second layer. And then I like to give it a couple taps. cream mixture then I put some of the whipped cream on top I like to put banana on top okay so this is gonna go in the fridge for like overnight Okay, banana pudding, guys. Let's give Harley his version of banana pudding. Here you go. This is what the banana pudding looks like after. It is so delicious, you have to give it a try. I'm gonna enjoy this with my coffee. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore Hello Harley. Make sure to follow me on TikTok at Hello Harley. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.